Portmans have gone from being a cheap work boot, we used to pick them up at Kirkham's Tires in Barnstable for a tenner, uh, to a high fashion item to an extent. I've got this old pair that have been sitting around in a garage and they really need restoring. So let's go through the steps that you need to to get these back to pristine condition. Okay, uh, this is a pair of Doc Martens that has um, been lying around for a while. Um, they actually got a fair bit of use, but as you can see, um, they've got a bunch of wear on them. And um, the soles are pretty good. I mean, you know, with Docs, you can get them resold. Um, it's relatively expensive to do, but it's worth doing, uh, particularly if they're comfortable. If you're buying a pair second hand, um, there's a couple of things you want to look for. The first is look around the stitching. Um, if you see the stitch is missing and the leather's starting to bulge out, uh, check out the holes because w what I've had happen with ducks in the past is that the leather uh, will just rip. Um, and it's, it's possible, but resoling them is going to be difficult. Um, you can see with these guys, the leather's really out of shape. Um, they need new laces. Haven't been worn for a while. They're a little stiff. So what we want to do is uh, recondition these and get them back into primo condition. That's the plan. Okay, can we do it? That's the question. So what are we going to need? Well, for this project, we're going to need laces. That's the easy thing. I ended up getting two pairs of laces. Um, I got a 60cm uh, and a 46cm. Uh, Doc Martens recommend for 8 hole shoes that you use 55 inch laces. I looked on Amazon and they were kind of expensive and we don't have many Doc Martens dealers where I live so uh, that's out of the question. Um, to restore it, we're going to clean it up with saddle soap. Um, this is designed for uh, horse tack and other stuff. Um, it's great for restoring leather. So we're gonna. What I'm going to do is clean um, the outside of the boots with the saddle soap. I'm going to use a bristle brush for that. You don't want to use anything like nylon because it's going to be too harsh. It's going to end up damaging it. Um, I'm also going to use a, a microfiber cloth and I'm going to use uh, some uh, clear polish to get shine on them. Um, but I'm also going to use some cream. Uh, this is just black shoe cream. And the black shoe cream is going to help to uh, moisturize the leather. And of course I'm going to use shoe brushes. So how do we use a saddle soap? Well, it's kind of like uh, how you used to shave, right? Um, I'm going to use a bowl to get a lather going and a little bit of water. So what I'm going to do is just kind of wet my brush, stick it in here, get some soap on here. Okay, I want a fair bit of soap. Um, I'm going to put that in here and I'm just going to put more water in and kind of get a lot of it going. It takes a little bit of effort but we should get there. A little bit more of this. You don't want to use too much, but you want enough to get it clean, All right? Um, so we'll get the lather up. Just kind of mash it all up in here. This is looking pretty good now. Maybe a little bit more. It's not going to be a lather like shaving soap, but you don't want it to. You don't want to be putting the saddle soap on kind of thick either. Um, what it's going to do, in addition to cleaning, um, is it's going to pull whatever remaining oils are left in the leather. So what we don't really want to do is saturate the leather. Okay, so we get a little bit of soap together in here. I'm going to move that out of the way. Okay, so before we do anything, we need to pull out the laces from the boot. So I'm going to get rid of these. These laces aren't horrible, um, but you can see that they're starting to fray a little bit. And uh, you can see that, uh, I don't know if this is going to focus, but uh, you can see that the caps are starting to get a little bit damaged. So let's pull these out. We're probably going to toss these or maybe I'll save them for something else. Um, but 
they're not really going to work for what we're trying to do. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of soap on here, just maybe a bit more water in here. There we go. I want it to be sort of frothy. It's not going to lather up in the same way that, say, shaving soap will, but I definitely want it to be frothy. Okay, and then I'm just going to pick a panel on here and just kind of work it in. You want to get around the welt of the boot, which is where the stitching is. We're not going to leave this on here for a long while. But we want to get it cleaned out. Now this thing, I don't know what that was. It looks like it's some like dried plant material or a dead insect. Who knows? You can work that out with your nail. Try not to scratch the surface of the boot though. You can see actually that what I think has happened here is that was actually a scratch on the surface of the leather. It's okay. I'm not going to worry about that too much because we're going to basically resurface this. Don't forget to get inside on the tongue. Um, you don't want to get the inside of the boot wet if you can avoid it because it'll soak in much more easily where the leather's not finished. It's not the end of the world if you do, it'll just take a bit longer to dry. Okay, so we'll just kind of keep going around here. Get this whole thing done. Back to the boots. You can pick up Doc secondhand. I mean, you know, one of the disadvantages of Doc Martins is simply that they come in full sizes. And you can see on the inside of this, there's an insole in here. Because for me, um, the 11s are too big, the 10s are too small. Really, I'd like 10 and a half for British sizes. But they don't sell them. So if you find that you're in that half size zone and your boots aren't fitting that well, it's pretty easy to okay. uh, use an insole to pad them out a little bit. Okay, so I think we're more or less done with this guy. I'm going to go do the other one and then we'll be back. Okay, so We've done both of the boots. I left the soap on the first one while I did the second one. It's pretty quick, but um, what we want to do then is kind of take a microfiber cloth. You can buy packs of these really cheaply at um, a hardware store. Uh, I think I got these at um, Home Depot or Lowe's, I can't remember which it was for I think you get a packet of like 10 of them for five bucks. Um, they're great for cleaning stuff up. You can see the difference with this boot already. I mean, you know, this, this is pretty impressive really because they've been sitting around for a long time. Um, probably about six or seven years in a box because we moved. They went in a box. Okay, so I left, uh, I left the soap on here for a while, uh, possibly longer than I wanted to. Uh, my camera battery ran out, but you can see though that um, just using the saddle soap has really changed how these are looking. So what I'm going to do is just wipe everything off, okay, using my microfiber cloth, and we are going to leave these to dry out for a while and then we'll resume with the second part of this which is basically going to be getting some uh, shoe cream back on to kind of feed the leather a bit and uh, get them going again. Now when I do this you're going to see um, 
I mean, when I was a kid, I used Kiwi stuff all the time, and the Kiwi stuff is pretty good, but it's got silicone in it. And uh, for those of you who've ever had to polish boot. Okay, so we left everything to dry for a while. I'm actually gonna use a different brush um, to the um, one that I used to apply the saddle soap. Um, I'm gonna keep this brush specifically for saddle soap because I don't really want to get shoe polish on it. So I'm gonna get my shoe cream, open it up, and I'm really just gonna dab the brush in the shoe cream and we're gonna apply it pretty liberally. So I let the shoes dry um, for a while. You can see they've got this sort of oily um, coat on them. Now, if you just want that oily finish, um, I would just stop here, you know, but I, I wanna um, use the shoe cream just to really give a little bit of extra um, conditioning and moisture to the shoes. Um, I'm gonna get in here, get the tongue, um, also get the insides a little bit. Um, it just helps to keep the leather reasonably supple and soft. Also what it's gonna do, um, because of the pigmentation in it, it's gonna um, get black color back into, into the boots again. So we're just gonna go all the way around with this. When it looks like the brush is getting dry, I'm just gonna dab it in here again, pick up a bit more and get it on. I'm putting it on fairly thickly. Um, not super thick, but we're gonna get a fair bit on here. Um, if you like the yellow of the Doc Martin laces, don't get down in the welt too much. I don't really care, to be honest with you. Um, you know, as you can see, these are relatively older boots. Um, now, one thing about these boots is uh, they're some of the Made in England boots. The leather's a little different to some of the Chinese boots. Just bear that in mind. If you're picking up a pair used, um, you want to try and look for the Made in England ones because I think they do lose, use better leather. Um, I've had some of the Chinese ones and to be honest with you, the leather feels a bit sort of cardboardy. It's very stiff, it takes a while to break in. It doesn't feel like it's as thick. I might be wrong, I might be biased, uh, but that's been my experience in the past. So, so same with this one. You wanna get in around the tongue. You can see there's a bit of a, a crease there that we wanna try and get out a bit because that's not going to be particularly comfortable when we wear it. <clears throat> and I'm really just going to get this shoe cream on, kind of polish it in a bit, and then just leave it for a bit. And uh, we're, we're really using this to just get a bit of softness back in the leather because it's kind of dried out from sitting around for so long. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna leave that to dry off for a bit and we'll come back to it in a little while. Okay, we let that sit for a little while. I'm gonna start just buffing this up a bit. You can either do it with a microfiber cloth Okay, or you can do it with a brush. Choice is yours. I'm gonna be um, coming back to these later um, with um, some actual wax polish. Well, so I'm actually gonna hit this with a brush. I tend to use darker brushes for black, so I keep a shoe brush just for black stuff. We'll start shining this up a bit. The really cool thing about this 
as you can see, is that after doing saddle serve, um, this is coming up, you know, as good as new. I mean, it's it's beautiful the way that the finish comes back into these. And it's really pretty low effort. You can see now we're starting to get a pretty good shine on these. I'm gonna hit these. Let's get the backs. And when you're doing this, you really wanna go panel by panel. Now don't forget, we got inside this and did the tongue. So you actually want to put a little bit of effort into getting that area cleaned up as well. You don't have to go overboard with it. But the goal here is really, you know, we're just trying to get a good finish on here again. And then we'll do some work on the caps in a bit uh, to try and bring those back. So I'm gonna brush this for a while, come back to the other one, and then we'll do the next step. Okay, so you can see now, just with those two steps, the saddle soap, yeah, let's get that in the focus area. The saddle soap and um, with the shoe cream, you know, we, we've got a really good shine on there. So, you know, for, for most people, that's gonna be enough. Um, we're gonna do one more step and we're gonna do a bit of polishing with um, just some basically clear um, shoe polish. Um, this stuff is, I mean, it, you know, it's just, Clear polish goes on top of the black. We've restored the color with the shoe cream, and actually, you know, just doing uh, the saddle soap wash got it back into a really good state. So we'll just put a layer of polish on, put the laces in, and we'll be done. Nice, excellent pair of Doc Martens uh, ready to wear again. Okay, so we can see that there's a world of difference now between where we started and where we are now. Uh, we're just going to put a little bit of polish on to give them a bit of shine, mostly on the toe caps and on the heels. <clears throat> we'll do that uh, with some um, neutral polish, it's just regular shoe polish. I'm actually going to use uh, this one because it's already been opened. Okay, so that's the uh, shoe polish we're going to use. Uh, it's from Trickers. Um, we'll probably use a brush and a little piece of cloth and some water. And the, the way that I do this is I just kind of grab the cloth, wrap it pretty hard around a finger, okay? And then we're just gonna pick up a little bit of the polish and then I'm going to take one boot and just kind of work over the area that I want to get a shine on. Okay, just in little circular motions. Get the polish on and then I just get a bit of water, a little bit of water on. Circular motions. We just work it like this for a while. Same thing on the heels, on the back area that we want to get a bit of a shine on. Maybe up here a bit. Again, just keep the circles going. Get a bit of water on it. Buff it up with the water. And you can keep going like this, just layer after layer. Eventually, it's just gonna kind of look like glass. Um, I don't need to get it that shiny, but just want to get a good finish on it, really. So 
same over here. A little bit of that, a bit of water. And then you just sort of rub the droplets over. Okay. And you can see that that's coming out with a nice shine. You can put a little bit of wax on. Helps to do this when it's a bit cooler. You get more of a shine, the wax polish kind of seems to get a bit harder when it's cooler. And you can just keep going with this until you're happy with where you're at. You don't want to go too thick. If you go too thick, it might start to crack. Kiwi will crack um, as it gets thicker. Um, I don't know how much you'd want to do. I'm good with this first one. And I'll just build it up a bit more over time as it goes. So I'm going to finish these off and then we'll come back, lace them up, and uh, we'll be finished. This is pretty cool though. It's a big difference from where we started. I'm very happy. Okay, so if we uh, if we think about where we came from, we're in great shape now. Got a good shine on these. You know, I'm quite pleased with how this has come up, to be honest with you. These boots have been in a box for ooh, a good four or five years, maybe more. Um, they had a bunch of white spots on them. The leather wasn't very supple. So I'm going to use the um, the 48 inch laces. Um, I don't like having long laces. These are a bit shorter than what uh, the manufacturer recommends. So we'll lace them up, see if they work. If they don't, we'll use the longer ones. Okay. <clears throat> but I think these are, these are gonna be a fine length for what we're trying to do. And they're all <laughs> fairly wrapped up in the packaging. Uh, these are just round laces. You can use flat laces too, but I'm going to go with round laces. Um, okay. So what I usually do is go from the inside to the out. Enough to tie a knot. And then we'll just lace them up and see what we get. Now this wax will harden, or the polish will harden. Um, might do a couple more layers, but you get the general idea about how we achieve the shine on them. It's just a little bit of water, a little bit of polish, soft rag. Um, it's definitely the way to go. All right, let's see what we've got here. I think that this is gonna work. Obviously, you got to put it on your foot, but and obviously it's going to be a lot tighter. When you put these on, what you tend to do is actually take them down to about there um, and lace them. So I'm going to lace the other one up, and that's pretty much the end of this. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, if this was useful to you, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll have plenty more tips and videos later. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you got all the way through it and hope you can apply some of these techniques to your stuff. You can see we went from a super grungy pair of docks to something that looks almost brand new. Looks worn in, looks really cool. I love my docks. And you know, if you look after them, they last a long time. Anyway, 
thanks to my sister Claire for the music and thank you for watching and if you've got any comments please like and subscribe and leave comments in the comment section and good luck with your dogs. Thank you.